What's up, y'all? My name's Mark, aka the original Flapjack, and we're gonna talk about Conor McGregor versus the UFC. Gotta try to cover all the points here, so if I miss anything, please don't forget to let me know in the comment section below. Call me an idiot, say I don't know shit, whatever, just let me know. So, during the week, a tweet had come out from Conor McGregor which threw the internet into a frenzy. Nobody knew what the fuck was going on. He just tweeted out, I have decided to retire young, thanks for the cheese, catches later. Everyone was like, oh, this is just a joke. This is just whatever. Then it started coming out that this wasn't a joke. Not that he's retired, but there was something going on. Something with him in the UFC talking about money. Maybe he wanted a lot more money than he was offered for, for UFC 200, the Nate Diaz fight. Me personally, the first thing I thought was, there's no way he's going to retire on a loss. He's, he's not that type of person, so he will fight. He will go out on a win. If he's going to go out, he's going to go out on a win, and that's that. Then the UFC came out and said that they'd pulled him from the fight. Then the UFC came out and they said they'd pulled him from the fight because he wouldn't go to Vegas and do media stuff he's obligated to do. It's mandatory for the UFC. He had to go to the, he had to go to the press conference in Las Vegas, but he didn't. He said he was currently in Iceland training with his team. He didn't want to go out there. He didn't want to take a 13-hour flight to America just to sit in front of a camera. He'd, he'd rather stay and train, get ready for the fight. And then he also then tweeted out another thing. And he also tweeted out again, but I think that one got deleted. But then he tweeted out, no more games. I'm going to release a statement shortly. And then if you do follow him on his... Yeah, if you do follow him on his Facebook page, he did tweet out... There's a Facebook link to his page on Facebook. Uh, I'm not going to read it out because it's pretty long. So I will try and get it into the video. If not, then, you know, sue me, I suppose. But I'll even leave links to this stuff in the description. I can actually leave links to his tweets in the description below. And you'll be able to see them that way. Now, currently, he's still in Iceland. And he tweeted out yesterday, about 15 hours ago. I've got my bills paid, my money made, and the entire game slayed. Hashtag your move. I'm assuming that's towards the UFC and Dana White. Which I don't personally think that him and Dana White have like a bad relationship. And now later today is the UFC press conference that he was supposed to go to. So I can only assume that Dana White will you know, release a statement let him, letting everyone know his side before the press conference because I don't think he'd want to do it at the press conference I think he'd want to release his own statement beforehand if not it will be at the press conference press conference is just going to be about McGregor I can't see any of the I can't see any of the journalists asking any of the fighters any serious questions about the fight it's just going to be probably just Dana White answering questions about this whole situation and then if a fighter is asked a question it's probably going to be what do they think about this whole situation with him and uh, with the UFC um, and McGregor, so kind of looking forward to that. Nothing new as of yet. It's just all speculation. In my opinion, it's, it's it's basically all about money. They probably offered him say 10 million. He wants more than 10 million. After all, he does make he does make the UFC a lot more money. Like they should be paying him a lot more money for the amount of money he makes them. Really, he's get probably getting done over by all this. So that's probably what it's all about. That's the UFC game. All the other fighters are getting are not getting paid what they should be getting paid. But hey, they all get on with it. They know it's their job. They turn up when they're supposed to turn up for for basically pennies compared to him. And he's just like, nah. So now, so now he's been pulled from UFC. Dana White's probably playing the whole like, you're not bigger than the UFC game. I decide who fights. Pull them from the fight. So if Dana White's going to do this, he has to stick with it. He can't change his mind. He can't say, all right, we pulled him from the fight. Then two weeks later, when everything's kind of calmed down a little bit, come out and say, McGregor's being announced again. He's going to fight Diaz at 200. You can't just forget that he, you pulled him. You did that to Nick Diaz before, when he was supposed to fight GSP. He didn't turn up to a press conference, and you pulled him, and he never fought on that card. So he can't just pick and choose... Who you're going to go with. You have to stay consistent or else all the other fighters are going to see this. And as soon as they start getting some momentum, they're just going to do the same thing. They're going to hold it ransom as well. Like uh, people have been saying, UFC will just rot from the inside if this starts happening. He starts just doing whatever McGregor wants. 
they've already been accused of doing that with Ronda. Ronda gets to pick when she fights, who she fights, fucking how she fights. She picks everything because she's that big of a star in that weight class and the women's division. There's no one as big as her because now they're going to have to do um, like Misha Tate and Ronda again if Ronda wants to go for the title. Probably not straight away. I can't imagine that Ronda will fight Misha Tate straight away. Maybe Misha Tate will defend it against someone else and then, you know, fight Ronda. But anyway, the press conference is in six hours time, so stay tuned to that. It's on YouTube, so, you know, go subscribe to UFC and all that. But anyway, if you like this video, by the way guys, I'd like to know your opinions on this whole situation. You know, how do you feel about it? Do you think the UFC is right? Do you think McGregor's right? Whose side are you on? I know a lot of people are siding with McGregor at the moment, so yeah, I can understand it from his side, but from a business standpoint, the UFC are kind of shooting themselves in the foot. Yes, McGregor will lose money, but the UFC will also be hit bad if he doesn't fight, or they, they keep him pulled from this fight. So I don't know what they're doing. But anyway, as always, leave your opinions in the comment section. Leave your opinions in the comment section below, I will get back to you with some replies social media stuff is in the description as well so follow that subscribe for a free taco like and share this video and I will see you in the next video